time for practice now, so uh, I'm going to show you how to use the stakeout today on the EDM. So we're going to jump into programs and on the EDM, this is program number three. So we're going to go press three or just jump up and down, find three and go enter. We're going to use same job as before. So I'm going to show you this is set job, site and grid as we're going to be actually setting point, the grid line intersection so press 4 and now you can see this uh, screen here you can see the angle and you can see the distance and that's the easiest way to find the point as you're going to be turning your EDM it tells you the angle so 120 so I know I need to turn it plus this way right 120 you see it going down 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 So I'm going there. Okay. So you can see. Now I know I'm I'm on the line direction. The angle is zero, so my EDM is aiming at the line. The only thing I'm going to check is the distance. So when I press distance now, it's going to tell me how far I'm from the point. So I know it's four meters from the point and I actually got the height so I know it's gonna be 700 lower than I'm shooting now at this table so four meters I'm going 1.8 go a little bit more 700 little bit more 200 and you can see now it shows me even here when I'm getting closer and closer depends how you're going to set your accuracy but shows me five because i'm within 25 millimeters now from the point but i'm going to go for perfection as always so you can see zero zero and that angle is nothing really so that's how you're going to be finding the points you just the, the easiest way just turn your edm as it tells you the angle and then shoot it whatever surface you're going to be shooting and it's going to tell you the distance you need to go to find the actual point but another thing i want to show you there's also a few other options here because that's the that's the best and the easiest way to look for it but if you press the page you're going to find the delta length and delta t and it's going to tell you as well you have to go just tells you how far you need to go from the edm right hand side and then towards the target 1.1 meter so you know now you have to write and then one meter there right so it's very very similar but then I really I really find it the most easiest way as I show you the first screen which says take out one but the next thing is another page which is going to be very very useful when we're going to be using the local grid system which I set later i'm going to show you actually how to set how to change the global grid coordinates to the local grid and we're going to be working later with the local grid so i'm going to keep this for later video i just want to show you here now as we are in the global grid but you can still really use it as this is going to be showing us east and north so that's that's very good as well so now we, similar to the previous screen we see we need to go two meters on the north and four meters on the east so same way we can find the point but uh, to have it in global coordinates that will be very difficult and as I said in local grid that will be very very useful as we're going to be using actually the stakeout program to mark the lines as well guys I of course forgot to uh, tell you something which 
I showed you on my previous video when I when I went through the settings, but of course, as you want to see the difference in east, north, angle, and wherever, you're gonna have to change the EDM on a non-prism, in this case actually, and tracking. So that's the option we're gonna be using when uh, marking the points, really using the non-prism mode, as the tracking is the best way to see. Guys, that's it in today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I believe you just make another step forward in your setting out site engineering knowledge. If you have any questions, if something was unclear, please let me know, leave in the comment below. And please guys, subscribe to my channel and turn the notifications on so you're gonna know when my next video gonna be released. So thank you again for watching and see you next time back on my channel.